welcome back in this topic we are going to see how to open a time deposit in post office we call it as td whereas in banks they call it as fixed deposit the menu to open td is cmis aop and the menu to verify this is cmis aopv in post office there are four types of td account one year td two year three td three year td and five year td now let us see how to open a td account log on to finacle with operator and enter cmis aop and click go enter the sif id here enter the sif id see this is the menu for opening td mis nsc and kvp as well so be careful in choosing the scheme so here i am going to choose td and from the scheme code click on this lens and choose whether it is a one year td or two year 3d three year td or a five year td okay don't use this exception option only these four options can be used now i am going to open a two year td so i have chosen tdi p2 click go the name and address comes from the sif choose the mode of operation there are various options self joint a etc i am going to choose self 012 this is a self operated account scroll down choose the interest credit account interest credit account is the sp account in which the td interest every year to td interest will be credited to it okay so enter the posb account of the customer in interest credit account field please note the sif number of the sb account and sif number of the td account should be the same enter the interest account number posb interest credit account number here then scroll down if it is a agent if it is, if this account is opened through agent choose agent in this radio button and enter the agent code here otherwise choose none here okay it will be in none, none default leave it as it is enter the amount of deposit in this field i am entering as 75000 scroll down enter the nominee details as name of the nominee relationship address of the nominee pin code etc enter the relationship enter the address of the nominee enter the address of the nominee in address field enter the pin code enter the percentage now post office has introduced one additional field here that is nomination type whether it is beneficiary or trustee trustee if you choose trustee the nominee on death of the depositor can withdraw the amount and should hand over it to the legal heir he cannot enjoy the benefits of it whereas if you choose beneficiary the nominee can very well withdraw the amount on death of the depositor and use it for his own benefits okay so choose it wisely scroll down scroll down enter transaction required here choose yes transaction is required for this account you are going to make a deposit also now td renewal that uh, td renewal is td can be renewed twice choose principal only and click on this radio button as yes and see there are three ways by which you can make a deposit in a td account 
it can be either through cash or by debiting a SB account of the customer or through check clearing. If it is deposited through cash, click, click cash in this radio field, radio button field. If you click transfer and enter the SB account of the customer in debit account field, this means you are going to debit the SB account of the customer. If it is a check clearing, click transfer here and enter the SOL ID followed by 0382. Let me repeat, SOL ID followed by 0382 is a check clearing account number. Okay. Here let me show how to use POSB account. Choose transfer. This is not a cash deposit. Choose transfer. Enter the POSB account of the customer. See, the POSB customer number, customer name matches with the TD account customer name okay because we are using the same SIM. scroll down and enter the document code we are we have received one document enter the document code and document date choose scan here. choose document submitted scroll down click validate See, system throws an error. Document received number must be equal to the number of document details entered. Let me show why this error is occurring. This is because we have entered the document number as 016. That is, we have received a document, but we have not entered the total number of documents what we have received. We have to enter 1 here. 1 here. This means this one document is received. Click Submit. Validate and submit. Click on submit. See, this is the cash flow. So, 75,000 is the principal inflow, and 5,548 is the yearly interest. Okay. After confirming, again click submit. submit. See the account number is generated and transaction ID is also generated. Note down the account number and transaction ID on the application form and pay in slip. Now hand, hand it over these applications to the supervisor for approval. Now the menu to verify the TD account is CMIS AOPV. Log on as supervisor and enter C. Enter the menu here. Now log on as supervisor. Enter the menu C M I S A O P V in the M I S menu field and click go. Choose verify. Enter the temporary account number assigned for the T D. Click go. Now, the supervisor has to check each and every field with the application available in his hand. He has to check the interest credit account, amount of deposit, name and address of the customer and the mode of funding. That is very important, whether it is a cash deposit or fund transfer. So, this is a fund transfer. This is a fund transfer from his SB account. Okay. So, supervisor has to check whether PAN number is updated because 75,000 is being deposited. Scroll down. Number of documents is mentioned as 1. Account opening form is mentioned. Click Submit. See, the account number is verified successfully. The next step is passbook printing. That we will see later. Thank you.